As we inch closer to the May 22nd election, Columbia County School Board members and candidates for District 3 are working hard to get your vote. News Channel 6's Ashley Campbell sat down with candidates Judy Teasley and Andrew Kemp as they discussed their platforms. And Ashley joins us live in the newsroom now. Ashley, these two candidates have different views when it comes to representing District 3. And Judy Teasley. County school system for more than 20 years. She says she's seen Columbia County grow and has a more traditional platform. Andrew Kemp tells me that there needs to be a new voice with fresh ideas on the board. District 3 school board candidate Judy Teasley spent years teaching Columbia County students government. Now she's even more immersed in it as she works to get your vote. It's time. Uh, I've never been unconcerned about education. Teasley isn't just involved in education on a local level. I belong to the Professional Association of Georgia Educators, which is a professional association, not a union. Candidate Andrew Kemp is also no stranger to education. He's a professor at Augusta University. His children have attended Columbia County Schools. There was too much of a focus on testing and test preparation and not enough about critical thinking and creative problem solving. So. I just wanted to be able to do something about it. Now he's hoping by sitting in the District 3 seat he can help change that. We have kids in elementary school going to school with backpacks, you know, that weigh 20 pounds. First of all, an elementary school kid shouldn't have a backpack. Both agree that changes should be made when it comes to education. Kemp believes that teachers should have more leeway in the classroom. Teasley says there needs to be an emphasis on vocational education. The students who are actually suitable for, um, would enjoy skill traits, whether that's paint and body technicians, heating and air conditioning technicians. Teachers are professionals. They have degrees. They're certified on multiple levels. They're required to go back and get more certification, more education, and yet we treat it like a vocation. As far as support, current District 3 board member Mike Sleeper tells me that he's backing Judy Teasley. Both candidates are up against George, George Bratcher, and if you'd like to see my interview with him, you can head to our website, wjbf.com. Brad?